What's up, guys? Baker here. <coughs> um, I don't know if you can tell or not, but I am sick. I got a sore throat and a cough and a stuffy nose and a little bit of headache, but I love you guys enough to make it a tutorial. Um, colorful CC <coughs> with Magic Bolt looks and stuff. <coughs> um, I won't be giving out the preset yet, but I will in a color correction pack that I'm working with my friend. So let's just go ahead and uh, show you what's up if you want to make it right now. <coughs> so, go ahead and make an adjustment layer. And look up uh, looks, if you have magic bullet looks. That's what we're going to be using. And, um, <coughs> sorry. I'm just going to go to the part where I get a pretty good view of, like, everything. I like this spot right here. And I make sure your thing's on full when you go to edit. <coughs> okay, first thing you want to do Let's go into, uh, I think, Matt. Yeah. Get a gradient. Check that on. <coughs> and then, um, let's see here. Fall off. Let's bring that to 0.4. It covers a little bit more. And then the colors. So copy these colors because uh, I like this. So 0.38. <coughs> the green make it 0.13. And <coughs> blue. Oh, my God. 0.5. So it gets a nice little purple color, but <coughs> gradients kind of make it dark. So what we're going to do is go find a gradient exposure. So this exposes, you know, like a gradient. So the stops, we'll bring it up to three. And that pretty much just brightens the uh, the top off. The top, pretty, pretty nice. Okay. After gradients, we have vignette. <coughs> so go to lens and vignette. And uh, the radius, bring it up a little bit to, let's see, 1.2. So, cool. And then the strength down to 60. So, nice little, nice little vignette. <coughs> okay. Next thing we need is a swing tilt. And that will just blur some stuff. And <coughs> I want it to just blur the top. So, what I'm going to do is a uh, blur size, bring it down to 2. The quality up to 10. And then bring the, let's see, bring the Y2 all the way up to positive 100. And then just play with the center to kind of, I just bring it down here, like near the square. So everything down here is pretty sharp. And then it just kind of nicely blurs the top. All right. <coughs> then we go to post and get a uh, lift gamma gain. Okay, so the first one, just kind of bring, I don't have any actual values for you, but just kind of slowly bring it down to the blue, just a tiny bit. Same thing for gamma, just around that area. But then the gain, punch it up to the orange until you get a nice, that's orange right about there. It looks pretty, pretty nice and orange, don't you think? Don't want to go too overboard, but I think that looks pretty nice. And then uh, we'll just add a saturation after that to saturate it up just a tiny bit, 105. And just uh, make this in the center color. And then there's one more. If you go to camera and go to shutter streak, it's these cool little lines. And just bring the boost down to negative 1.5. We want it to be subtle. So, and uh, that's about it for the magic bolt looks. Uh, maybe just a tiny bit more orange in the lift gamma again. It's really up to you, but I like it to be like. That's a little too much. So it's, it's, <coughs> it's a bunch of trial and error and stuff, but now we need the light blue top stuff. So make another adjustment layer. And if you have trap code star glow, we're going to be using that. If you don't, I'm sorry, but you can probably find it somewhere. And we get some cool streaks and stuff some more. Okay, so the streak length we want to be 100. So we're going to be pretty long. Um, let's go to the color maps. So first one, it's going to be just a light, light bluish white kind of color. I think it's, I don't even know, somewhere around there, I think. Mid-tones, make it just a little bit darker, like a mid baby blue. And then the shadows make a, just a solid dark blue like that. Then color map B, <coughs> almost the same thing. Highlights, like a light baby blue. <coughs> Midtones this time is going to be a solid blue, and the shadows is going to be like a 
I can find it like a tealish, almost like a green kind of teal ish, something like that. All right, so that's cool. So, what we're going to do is zoom out and take the ellipse tool and just mask out the top half, top third ish, right about there. Okay, and then um, feather it about 150. <coughs> and then, uh, <coughs> sorry. What you can do is uh, set it to add if you want it really bright, and I think that looks cool. And uh, if you don't like how much is bright or how much is uh, being glowed or you want it to be more, go to pre-process, change the threshold, and it'll just you know change what's get what gets uh, brightened and whatnot. So what I like to do is I pre-compose every clip so I can have a like a unique color correction per clip because you know some things need to be darkened some of the glows need to be fixed because if you're on like a dark map or a light map things can change <coughs> so that's about it for the colorful uh, uh, colorful color correction with magic bullet looks but um, <coughs> if you like this video please leave a like or if uh, you want me to feel better and get well soon and stuff that would be nice but um <coughs> oh my gosh. That's about it. Um, yeah, I'm going to be giving this away in the color correction pack soon, but here's the tutorial anyway. Pretty cool stuff. And uh, peace, guys. See you later.